I don't think it's a far stretch to say that Noragami's story is underrated. I think if someone glances over the story, they can maybe have an argument of it sounding basic. But as soon as you get into the, the little nuances of everything, I think it's a very complex story. And that's just me being on episode six. But this is one of the main reasons why I chose to do reactions to anime. It's because I got tired of looking at lists online of top anime to watch and getting the same answers like yes they're great i don't think i would ever have found something niche as noragami but uh without further ado let's get straight into it make sure with original content as always all right let's get going in three two one and go this intro Yukine. Hey, Yukine. I baked some cookies for you. I'll do just you, leave them by the door with some cocoa. Do you need to sleep? I don't know how, how different he is to a normal human being. Other than that, he's dead. I was going to say adorable, but this music is not giving me those vibes. Are you allergic to chocolate? Do you not even eat a cookie? Don't tell me that chocolate milk is evil. Order! Hit them all again? Don't take the skateboard. It's Yato's fault, forcing me to kill that girl. E. Honestly, I hate to say it, but I think you're just naive. Don't do it. Yato's gonna know. Damn! He won't get off my ass! Even Hiyori! What the hell? I was wondering why he was so calm walking over there. I keep on forgetting that they go unnoticed. Damn kid. Yukine's been so down since that last encounter. And Yato hasn't even spoken to him. How much you call Yato? You have his number. It's only natural for him to feel this way after what happened. Oh, hey, Hiyori! Uh, huh? Oh, hey, have either of you seen a boy wearing a green parka around anywhere? Uh-oh. Don't get any ideas. Oh, hello, Mrs. Iki? Your daughter's in a torrid relationship! I bet he's hideous! Just look at your beloved Tono after he lost! Don't show me that! Spoiler. You better introduce us to your boyfriend. I actually would like to introduce them to Yato and Yukine sometime. They'd probably forget they met them as soon as it happened. Yeah. Gosh dang it. Man, that was too easy. You guys are gonna meet up at the car. Oh gosh. Smack some sense into him. Did I say that right? Wanna tell me where you got this? Well, he already bought it for me. Oh, don't you lie. You guys are in Yukine! sync. You've been with Yato? Yori, that was real nice of you to buy this for him. Oh gosh. Huh? Don't lie for him. Oh gosh, those are eyes of a killer. Oh sure, I'm nice like that. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> I feel like I'm uh, with Yato in this. Man, I really can't stand kids. Twilight serves as the boundary between day and night. People of this world, they fear the darkness and hide from it. This is the time when those lost in the divide can most easily cross the boundary. This time is known as the fiendish hour. Uh, let's try a different name. Well, the dark hour. Yo, that's a long whip. Did you, did you not see that? I found you at last, God of Calamity. Calamity? Hi, Bishamon. Why is she attacking us? Tangled once a long time ago, and she's been trying to kill me ever since. But why? What'd you do to her? This is a matter of revenge for her. She wants me and my regalia. Did you kill her regalia? Come, Seki! Huh? Wait! Oh gosh, you can A. Wait, the Bishamon? The god that punishes evildoers? So she's technically a good guy? Target currently moving north-northeast. Distance 2.1, 1.5. 1. 
1.9. The area is lightly crowded, but I suggest that's a, restraining That's a attacks. great regalia. Only uh, one that is regalia. regalia. Abilities unknown. You're part of the reason I'm so exhausted right now. Huh? Quit being such a pansy. Oh, is that for the pain? I'm not a pansy. I can feel it. But that woman, she's a god just like you. Uh, she's a better you one. seriously going to fight another god? Gonna use me? Obviously, it's your job to kill what I want dead. Uh, I don't... Yukine needs to get on the same page as Yato. Someone has to be right. All of her weapons, even her clothes and that beast, they're all regalias. What? Even the clothes? You're saying that lion's a regalia? But I don't want to fight her. <laughs> it's her! The doi. Yukine. I get it, but you need to get on the same page in order for you guys to at least have a chance to win. Fire! Uh... Ooh, the Deadpool. Uh, I swear I'll never let you kill another regalia! Hold on, you've killed a regalia? Yeah, you, you didn't know that. I will eradicate you, Suki! What a way to hold it. Yato is. Oh, hey, Yoyo. Oh. What's going on? It's Yato. Bishamon's attacking him and Yukine. Bishamon, huh? Looks just like her. Yachi's a scary war god. You haven't already forgotten I told you that, have you? Yeah. It was a long time ago, but Yachi did kill a regalia once. And it was her regalia? It's none of our business, and I'm staying out of it. Uh, but Yato told me to come to you for help. I know, you've got a thing for Yachi, don't you? Uh -huh. No, I don't, honestly. There's not a single person who trusts him. I mean... None of that. I still need his help with my body. Problem. For now, they're not wrong. Just remember, you asked for this. Ooh, I don't no think this is gonna... For the fallout. I don't so, think it's gonna be good. Where is Yato? Uh, oh, wait. Maybe I can find him. That almost seemed like it was on command. She's a half phantom? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you guys didn't even know that. I've noticed that all of the gods have a pleasant smell to them. Oh, you're like a tracker. Cool. Some uniqueness. I, I appreciate that. Hiato. <sighs> that lady. Did you really kill her regalia? There's probably yeah. some good reason. Maybe? It's only natural she wants revenge on you. Why'd you do it? Oh, there's because probably... I wanted to, all right? Nothing more. There has to be a better reason than that. Are you going to kill me if I screw up? Or if you just don't need me anymore? He's still got that other regalia, Nora. You're stinging me again, damn it! Your fear is killing me here! Hey, you're just as scared as I am! What?! Uh... Ah! Saki! Whoa, you got a bastard sword? Did you have to take out all those trees? Did the forest kill one of your regalias as well? I can overlook some immoral Why? collateral damage to the evil. Whoa! We can't fight that! That monster will tear me in half! Not if you don't believe. Found you! Kofku? Lady Kofku? Lady Kofku. What does he turn into? Like a hammer? I can see him being a hammer. Or a fan. Are you insane? <laughs> Phantoms are pouring from the underworld. Lady Bishamon, we should retreat. Kuraha! Ooh, that's painful. Kuraha. Restraint. Bastard! Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I demand justice! I think he sees the other girl. If you personally wish to be eaten by phantoms, then go right ahead. But tell me, do you wish the same for Kuraha and the others? Hmm. Oh, what in the world is that? Damn it, Hiyadi, why'd you bring them here? <laughs> well, regardless, she can't control you it. You're kind of cool right now. Out of respect for Lady Kofku, I'll let you live for today. So try not to get any more blight. Hiyadi, it's dangerous here. We gotta go. Right. <laughs> Pretty impressive, huh? I'm being sarcastic. You screwed everything off. You ingrate. I feel like this might have some dire ramifications later. Ah, oh, rice balls. I. 
should not be watching anime while I'm hungry. <laughs> that looks oh, horrible. Yato, try not to look so down. What was her name? Nora? She needs to back up. Don't forget that you can always use me. Don't say that. Nora. Uh, gosh dang it. I I know it comes without saying, but Yukine is acting like such a teenager right now. I get it. He is a teenager. But maybe it's just because he, he's not experienced. He keeps on doing things that restricts Yato's ability to perform. And it's not that Yato is without fault. I just think there's a huge gap between the experience of Yato and the experiment, experiments, experience of Yukine to the point of where their ideas clash a lot. And I feel like that makes Yukine less effective as a regalia. He's super strong when he's on the same page as Yato. But as of right now, it looks like Yukine is affecting Yato more negatively than he is at helping Yato. So there has to be, there has to be some turning point. There has to be some, something that happens to where hopefully Yukine land around the same place as Yato. And then we have B Shuman. B Shuman? I'm trying to figure out what exactly is she? Because yes, they mentioned she's a war god, but then they also pointed to one of the figurines from the the seven gods of fortune. So is she is she a god of fortune? Is she a god of war? Is she a god of good fortune during war? Like there's a lot of titles that are being thrown around. And, and the same thing with Kofuku. Kofuku is also known as one of the seven gods of fortune. But then she's also the god of poverty so again maybe you guys know more than i do but like what is is the seven gods of fortune a class and then bishuman being the god of war and kofu being the god of poverty is that just a subclass and the same thing can be said about yato of where he is a war god or a god of war but then he's also the god of calamity a little miss bisha over here has a lot more regalias than i i thought i thought at the very least she had three which was the gun the whip and the little earpiece and then maybe the lion but the fact that her just everything about her is a regalia that's crazy i think one of the inherent risks on taking more regalias is kind of what yato ex is experiencing right now if you have tons of regalias doing bad deeds then you may get the blight a lot quicker it's just unfortunate yato has only one regalia and that regalia is doing bad deeds so the more regalias a god has the more likely those regalias could affect that said god i feel like eventually we'll get into the past between these two and why exactly yato killed one of her regalias two things could be happening in this scenario either one the motive he has was a good motive and it just seems like a bad motive from the outside looking in or two it could just align with the thing that kofuku said in which since he's a guy that doesn't get that many jobs he does whatever job he can do and maybe one of the people said hey i need this regalia killed and he needed to do that in order to survive what the heck did this little girl do what, what was her game name again nato nato nutu i think the power that she had in order to like restrain other regalias uh might be a little bit op because if she can restrain other people's regalias and ma basically make them effectiveless effective effectiveless is that the word that could be a huge power move though i still don't like her just hanging around just stalking them. I'm sort of regretting whether or not, like, is, is she going to step in? Is she going to do something bad when they're not expecting it? I'm afraid she's going to go after Yukine because Yato keeps on pushing her away. She's like, oh, well, I'll make them need me. I don't know. But uh, Koku's little beam bringing in phantoms doesn't look like it's going to be good. I, I think it's, something's going to happen because of this. And uh, it's going to be bad. And now I see why Yato chose to go for her as a last resort. But anyways, that was my reaction to Noragami season one, episode six. If you like my reaction, make sure to like, and subscribe. If you guys want me to know anything more, put a comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.